Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to talk a little bit about using your cell phone as a Google Home, using an Android as a Google Home. Now, the Google Home is basically just the Google Assistant with a really nice speaker and a really nice microphone. So, if you can get Google Assistant on any of your systems, then you basically have a Google Home with better or worse uh, microphones. So in order to get this going, what I recommend you do, if, if you wanna get the Google Assistant, Assistant going, if you don't have it working, is turn on your phone and whatever the home button is, press and hold it. Options will come up. In my case, I've already got mine going. See if I can, so yeah, I can, I can talk to it. Just like I would the, uh, the Google Home I got downstairs. I can say, oh, it's listening to me already. I can say, oh wait, now it's, okay Google, turn off family room lights. And just like that, they're off. Now, my Google Home answers me and it says, okay, I've turned these lights off. But in this case, it doesn't, it just, uh, it just does it. It only works on one speaker at a time, but it still works. I can still turn everything on and off. I can still get everything I need from it. Um, it's just only going to use it on one speaker. I bet that's going to change shortly, though. Let's try something else. Okay, Google, tell me how my day is going to be. Okay, it's telling me on the other speaker downstairs right now. But that's a, that, that honestly is a great thing to say. As soon as you wake up, how's my day going to be? It's going to tell you how long it's going to take you to get to work. It's going to tell you what the temperature is. And uh, it's going to give you the news. Now, the first time I did it, it didn't give me the news. But after I keep asking it to give me the news, then it started. Uh, just once I got to pause the news. So ultimately, any Android phone that has Google Assistance is also a Google Home. So if you didn't manage to get one, just grab a phone. However, I will talk about two other issues that I've had. The microphone and speaker. I love to ask Google to play me the news. It takes me right to the BBC or the CBC and it gives me the news for the last hour, which is perfect. I love that. It's great. But if I play it through the phone, I have a very difficult time making it shut up because the speaker is so close to the microphone that when I talk to Google, it has a difficult time hearing me. Now, I bet I could change that. I bet I could make things a little different if I used the microphone out and I just played everything, or if I just played everything through a Bluetooth speaker, which is something I'm uh, definitely considering trying. But honestly, I'm having a hard time wondering why I personally would need two of these things. Maybe I don't have a good enough imagination, or maybe this is one of those situations where a piece of technology is getting pushed through as being more useful uh, more useful than advertised. For example, when Androids first came out, uh, the world was promised, but there wasn't a whole lot you could do. Once you got past the nostalgia of being able to play MP3s from wherever, uh, the rest of it was, eh, it was kind of hit and miss. It was kind of hit and miss, but I will say I love my Google Home. I absolutely love my Google Home. It's a very nice piece of technology, and I probably should have got two of them. I bought it for my wife, but it really became one of those things that we could both appreciate. So that's cool. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. That's like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Take care of each other, and I'll catch you later.